Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio 2 and in this video I will show you how to use this device for note taking with 23 tips and tricks. So let's start. So first of all I will change this device from laptop mode into the tablet mode and now I will start using my pen. The first feature is about bringing data from different sources into your notes. So here I open Microsoft OneNote and now I will start taking my notes. Now for example I want to search some images on internet and I want those images in my notes. So I will select this review tab and then I will select this smart lookup option. Once you select this smart lookup it will open the Bing search on this side and from here you can search anything. For example, I want to search about brain anatomy. So I will just type it here and then I will select this search option. And then here you see this option of more. So once you select this option, it will show you the media. So I will select this media option and then it will show you all the images related to brain anatomy. So here, for example, I like this image. I will just select it like this. It will be copied automatically and then you can paste it in your notes. So I will select this paste option. Now you can see the same image is now available here. You can resize it, you can crop it. If you want to label it, you can also label it as well. The next feature is about bringing text from a website into your notes. So here you see this media option, just select it. And then from here you can select this web option. Once you select this web option, it will show you different web results. For example, I want to open this website. So it will open the website in a new window. And now here you can select any text. You just have to press this side button and now you can select any text. For example, I want to select this text. So I will select it till here. Now here you can see it is giving me the option of copy so I can copy it and now I can paste it here in my notes. So I will just tap it like this and here is the paste option so I can paste it. So here you can see the same text that I copied is now available here. Now if you want you can also edit it. If you want to highlight it you can also highlight it as well. The next feature is about handwriting to text. For example, I will write here and now I want to convert it into the text. So I will press this side button and then I will select this handwriting. So once you select it here in the draw tab, you have the option of ink to text. So you can select this option and then it will convert it into the text. The next feature is about multitasking. So you can use your pen and then you can snap the windows and you can open it in any of these layouts. For example, I will open on this layout. On the other side, I open this PDF file. Here I open this website and on this side I will open this video. So you can work on all of these four apps together. For example, you want to take notes, you can take your notes here. And then if you want to edit this PDF file, you can also edit it. You can also go through your website and then you can also watch your video. The next thing is you can also grab data from these apps and insert it into your notes. So just select this insert tab and then here you see these three dots. You can select it and here you see this option of screen clipping. So I will select this option. Now you can clip anything from these apps. For example, I want to clip this PDF file and this video. I will use my pen and then I will start selecting it. So for example, I will select it till here. And and once you finish your selection, it will automatically add it to your notes. So here I will open my notes. So here you can see the same PDF file and this video image is now available in my notes. The next feature is about screen recording. For example, you want to prepare some kind of lecture using Microsoft OneNote. You can use the screen recording option. Just take out this taskbar, select this pen icon from here and then here is the snipping tool. So you can select this snipping tool and then from here you can select this video option and then select new. Now what you can do is use your pen and select the area that you want to capture for your 
your screen recording. For example, I want to capture this area for my screen recording and then I select this start option. So after this countdown, your screen recording will start and here you can use your pen to explain anything. If you want to write down something here, if you want to write some math equations, whatever you do, it will record it for you. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this stop icon from here and then it will show you your screen recording. I will play it from here. So this is how your screen recording will look like. Then if you want, you can also edit it and then you can save it using this save option. And then here is the share option. Select these three dots and here is the share icon. So you can share it using different platforms. One more thing I want to mention here, if you see below this video, you have this like icon. If you press it like this, it will change its color. So you can try this experiment. The next feature is about audio recording. For example, you have a lecture going on in Zoom. So open the Microsoft OneNote in split screen and on the other side, you can open Zoom. Now you want to do the audio recording, select this home tab and then here you see these three dots, select these three dots and here you see the last option is about transcribe. So select this arrow from transcribe here. It is giving you the option of record audio. So you can select this option and then it will start recording the audio and you can also take your notes in the meantime. Once you finish with your recording, you can select this stop option from here. Your recording is available here. You can play it from here or here is the new playback tab available. So you can also select this playback option and then from here you can also play your audio. The next feature is about dictation. So select this home tab and here is the dictate option. So if I select this dictate option, now whatever I say, it will write it down for me. So here you can see whatever I say, it is writing it down for me. The next feature is about spreadsheet. So if I select this insert tab and here is the spreadsheet option. So I will select it and then I will select new Excel spreadsheet. It will add a new spreadsheet into my notes. And now if I want to edit it, I can select this edit option. It will open the Microsoft Excel app and then here I can easily do my work. For example, if I want to write down uh, some numbers or some formulas, I can do all my work. Once I finish, I can see save it and that will be added to my OneNote. The next feature is about math equations. So you can use this draw tab and here you see this option of ink to math. So you can select this option and now here you can use your pen and you can write down any equation and it will convert it into the neat equation and then you can easily insert it. The next thing is you can also use this insert tab and here we have a different option available. So here if you select this equation from here, it will open this list of equations so you can use it from here and then it will also open another equation tab. So here you can use different symbols, different formulas related to math. The next feature is about inserting a PDF file into your notes. So select this insert tab and here is the file printout option. So you can select this option and then from here you can select your PDF file. For example, I want this PDF file. Then I select this insert option. Then it will insert the PDF file into my notes and then I can edit it. So here is the PDF file. So here you can see all the pages are available in my notes. Now, for example, here I want to write something using my pen I can do it if you want to use the highlighter you can also use it if you want to create different shapes so here is the different shapes option so you can create shapes as well the next feature is about shapes so you can create different shapes select this draw tab and here we have two different options the first option is automatic shapes so now you can use your pen and whatever shape you draw it will convert it into the neat shape. The next option is about these pre-designed shapes. So if I select it, here you have different options available. For example, you select this arrow and then you can use your pen to draw this kind of arrow. And then we have other options also available. For example, like uh, this graph. So you can use your pen to create like this kind of graph as well. 
The next feature is about text tool. So if you select this home tab, here you can see the first option is about fonts. So from here you can select different style of fonts. So here you can see we have a long list of fonts available. So you can select any font from here. Then from this side you can change the size. So different size options. Then you have this bold italic underline option also available. Then you can change the alignment and then from here you can change the style of headings so you can select different headings option from here and then if you want to use the highlighter you can use the highlighter from here the next feature is about page templates so you can select different page templates select this insert tab and here is the page templates option so if i select this page templates option it will open the templates on this side with different categories so you can select this academic and inside academic we have a lot of options so you can select simple lecture notes detailed lecture notes lecture notes and study questions and then you have blank options as well so there are a lot of options available in blank and then we have this business templates so inside business templates we have this project overview simple meeting simple meeting notes too so you can select these templates from here the next feature is about page format so you can insert lines in your pages as well so select this draw tab and then select these three dots and here you see this option of format background so if you select it here you have rule lines option or you can go for grid lines for example i will select this rule line so here you can see this is how it looks like you can also change the page color select these three dots again and select this format background and then here you see the last option is about page color so you can select it from here then select more color and then from here you can select any color for your page you can select this custom option as well the next feature is about categorization so you can categorize your notes in notebooks and in each notebook you can create different sections and in each section you can create different pages first of all i will show you how to create notebooks select these three lines from here so here are all my notebooks and now here you can see if i select this arrow i have different sections so in each section you can create different pages on this side if you want to add a new page select this add page option and then a new page will be added so how to create a new notebook select this file option then select this new and here you see you have the option of notebook name so you can give it any name according to your subject or according to your semester for example i will give it a name of anatomy so i will write here and then here is the option of create notebook so i will select this option and then it will ask you if you want to invite people i don't want to invite anyone so i select this not now option so here you can see a new notebook is now created and if you want to create a section so here is the new section option so if i select it here you can see a new section has been created and now here are the pages so you can add pages from here the next feature is about sync so you can sync your notes across different devices using microsoft account select this file option from here and here you see this option of account so from here you can create a new account and then this account you can use it for microsoft onedrive so guys microsoft onedrive is a cloud storage and it will give you 5 gb of storage if you want extra storage you have to pay for it the next feature is about exporting your notes so you can export your notes in different formats select this export option from here and from here you can select any format so you can select pdf word document one note so any of the format you can select from here you can also select these options from here so you can go for page export you can go for section export or you can also go for notebook export the next feature is about video recording so you can go back from here then select this insert tab and here are the three dots you can select it from here and here is the option of record video once you select this option it will turn on the front camera and here is your video so you can make your notes and you can also record your video once you finish you can just cut it from here and here is your video recording and it will also show you this playback tab 
tab so you can play your video from here the next feature is about sharing your notes so select this file and then select this share option so once you select this share option it will create a link for you and here you can do all the customization for example if you want to select the can view option you can select this option so anyone with the link can view only your notes the second option is can edit if you select this can edit option so anyone with this link can edit in your notes the next thing is once you select this copy link option it will create a link so here is the link you can copy this link and then you can share it if you select this option of anyone with the link can edit it will give you more options so here you can also set the password for your notes the next feature is about recent edits if you select this history tab and then here you select this recent edits and then you can select any of these options for example i want to select recent edits from last seven days once you select it here it will show you all the recent edits that you done in the last seven days and from here you can select your notes the next feature is about creating links inside your notes select this insert tab and here you see this option of link so select this link option it will open a window the very first thing you have to do you have to insert text so select this text option and here you can give it any name for example i give it a name of notes and the second thing you have to do you have to put the address of the website so here i will insert this microsoft so i will write here microsoft.com okay and then i press okay so here you can see the link is now created if i select it like this it will open the microsoft website for me and i can access this website the next feature is about setting password for your notes so select this review tab and here you see this option of password so you can select it and then from here you can set password for your notes the next feature is about inserting tags so select this home tab from here and then here you see this option of tags so if you select it it will open the list and from here you can select any tag so you can select to do important question remember for later so you can select any of these tags so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much